Welcome everyone to another episode of Deep Rock Galactic. This is gaming for the recently deceased. On today's episode, we'll be discussing update 33 for the game. And this was teased last night on the Ghost Ship Games Twitch. So we're here, we're just on the Steam page of update 33. Now, just to get it out of the way, this has been delayed because we had the delay with update 32, which was pushed back one month. So this will now be pushed back into January of 2021, which is totally fine because, you know, we all know what's going on with the world today. A little bit of a delay. We're fine with that. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. So first up, 2020, 2021, sorry. We're going to have two new biomes, new enemy types, proper mule docking animation and a mineral trade overhaul. Now this is fantastic. So coming up first, the new biome, the Caustic Mire, a sweltering yellow-green hellscape of toxic fumes and brittle mineral crusts covering corrosive stagnant pools. Only few things that live or grow here, but those among the toughest on the planet, full PPE gear is advised. So here is a concept art of Caustic Mires. It's looking like a really toxic just horrible wasteland of just stagnant pools with toxic coverings and crusty mantles all around. Yeah. So that's really interesting. And of course, this is concept art. Nothing is set in stone. So you, you all know the drill by now. The so next up we have, and I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, we have the Azua Wild. Deep blue and purple, the Azua Wild brings to mind a deep alien sea in all its splendor and horror. Bioluminescent clusters of lichen light up the darkness, illuminating this fertile and overgrown biome in flickering neon colors. A chilly, oddly beautiful place. The cold fog hangs thick and dense in the air. So this is sounding a bit like an undersea kind of world. And I believe this would be obviously this looking very sea-like. This must be the secondary world. The Azua wield world. <laughs> Because, yeah, this is looking very, like, coral and sea type. So this would be probably concept art for that. So we need, uh, I'm very interested to see how this will turn out. And, of course, I would be bringing more spoilers every time more stuff gets leaked. Or not leaked, but essentially, every time new stuff comes and drips out, I will be here to report on it. So there's going to be new enemy types. Priority warning reports are coming in. Horrible new strains of beasties in Hoxies. The flying Matera have evolved a bunch of new veteran forms. And the Glyphid Dreadnought can now appear in several different varieties. The scanner department also reports a slew of other yet unidentified bio signs down in the depths. So that's going to be interesting. I wonder if they're going to be like certain types of dreadnoughts, like an ice one that shoots like ice balls, or is it just going to be just different looking? Stay tuned and let's find out. But uh, yeah, Mactira veterans, whew, those bad boys, they're going to be coming in tougher, stronger. That's what we don't want to hear, but hey, we can kill them if they bleed. I said that completely wrong. <laughs> if it bleeds, we can kill it. Anyway, so proper mule docking. It's been a long time coming. The mule will finally receive a proper animation set up for exiting and entering the drop pod and a little bay and crane all on his own. Now that's just amazing to see the little crane come out and like because for the longest time now Molly has just been uh, you know glitching into the pod so finally he's going to be getting a proper animation that's phenomenal now the mineral trade is getting an overhaul and it's already had like a exterior change because it used to just be a little computer terminal now it's that really nice sort of like the crushing device in the in the drop pod now the prices for these have always been stagnant since pretty much day one. But it looks like now we're going to be getting daily deals. So, you know, you come up one day and it'll be like, I need Enor Pearls and Enor Pearls might be on a special today. So you get them a lot cheaper than you would, say, the next day. And I don't know if it means like in-game days, like transferring over like the 20, 30 minutes of the map rotations, or if it means like actual days, like uh, real time. So we'll find out eventually. And of course, then we have the Caustic Maya again with these stagnant pools and whatnot. Now coming up, now these are just caveats of like, hey, maybe? But the devs last night on their stream, they said that they plan on supporting this game for a long time. They don't plan on just abandoning the game since it's now in 1.0. They plan on bringing more content and supporting the game for a long time, which was said last night on their stream. 
So to be announced, update 34, mission type, new mission types, and basic modding support. So maybe the Steam Workshop, maybe. And of course, again, to be announced, update 35, new set of primary or secondary weapons. A lot of people have been asking for the longest time, can we get new weapons? And a lot of people don't understand that this is actually really a lot of work to do. So they'll be working on possibly just one, so either the primary or secondaries. Because not only do you got to create, balance, and design these weapons, you then got to do the mesh skins, the color schemes, got to make sure all those things work on it. Then you got to do the mods, and then you got to make sure it's got overclocks. So this is a lot of work. But hopefully, hey, hopefully, we get that. But alright everyone, that has been a look at the roadmap for update 33. This is Gaming for the Recently Deceased with all your Deep Rock Galactic news. Now if you'd like to support the channel, just in the top comment I will be linking my PayPal. Just a small donation, get me a cup of coffee, that's all. You know, you don't even need to support. You can um, just uh, like, follow, subscribe, comment. But let me know what you feel with update 33, what you're excited for, or any of the upcoming uh, updates. But again, if you like to support the channel, cup of coffee, something like that, anything all goes towards the channel in building better content. Thank you. How old are you? You're behaving like ill-mannered children. Please, stop it. Respect your surroundings!